everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video i am going to explain you about one of the useful plagiarism checking tool that is research experts many of the research students require the plagiarism checking tool uh, to verify or to check the plagiarism of their research article at that time they require standard plagiarism checking tools like turnitin authenticate or urkun because they are the software which university can afford sometime if they are not uh, getting those software at that time they require again a standard uh, plagiarism checking tool so this research expert is very useful and nowadays uh, if you want to submit any of the research article the plagiarism of the article must be less than 10 percent so to reduce uh, the plagiarism to that extent you require plagiarism checking tool so once you get the plagiarism report you can edit your research article and reduce your plagiarism of the article so here this is the paid version but you will get the authentic and a genuine plagiarism report uh, which will be helpful to improve your research article so you can also reduce the plagiarism with this uh, plagiarism checking tool so here is uh, the research expert website so here uh, first you should click in your browser research expert then go to this first link so here you will get this interface if you click on my account you have to log in by filling your mobile number or email id and then uh, you will get the otp fill the otp you can log in to that uh, research experts so this is the uh, actually the report that you get from turnitin software so very uh, authentic uh, plagiarism report you are going to get so very useful and here i have already checked my plagiarism of the articles um, and verified so uh, when i have the report very uh, useful for me to improve my research article so first what you have to do before that you should check here uh, the price of the research article page wise so number of pages minimum if you take any of the article uh, it will be between 6 to 10 pages uh, or the maximum 11 to 15 or up to 20 pages so according to your uh, the number of pages of article you have to pay here and you can pay uh, this amount uh, so no doubt but if you go to the standard uh, plagiarism uh, software to purchase you have to pay a big amount so you uh, individual can't afford institution only can afford but if you want to get the plagiarism of your article single article uh, at that time you can pay this amount so which is um, affordable you can uh, pay this uh, amount uh, so then you can get your report and you can also uh, reduce the plagiarism but it is the price is very high uh, otherwise you can manually also edit yourself but you require plagiarism report so here is the price so 16 to 10 pages uh, minimum so i am going to show you with one example so i am going to submit my research article to check the plagiarism so first what you have to do once you log in with your mobile number here uh, are the option click on the plagiarism check different options are there for which purpose you are using you can uh, choose that option click on plagiarism check then uh, the pages so my research article is about 16 to 10 pages and words also must be limited you can see 3250 beyond they are going to charge according to that so 6 to 10 pages uh, academic level phd or doctorate then many options are there 
then subject area basic science and you have to browse the file here from your desktop or the folder so here i am going to browse this file i have attached my research article and then you have to click on here submit so if you want to submit uh, you have to make the payment online using your phone pay or google pay upi so here you may now proceed to pay the fee we are uh, reviewing our android app uh, uh, so pay how much amount they have given here uh, as i said the number of pages according to that you have to pay so it is 98 rupees so i am going to pay by scanning the qr code so you can see uh, you can go for different options for online payment so i am paying with uh, phone pay so i have paid the amount so click on uh, pay now already paid so you can see the payment is successful then you will get the plagiarism report your plagiarism report is going to be generated you can see here uh, rupees 98 has been paid please wait your plagiarism report is being generated uh, within uh, 3 to 30 minutes maximum 30 minutes they said but within 2 to 3 minutes you are going to get your plagiarism report and which is very authentic that is the report you are going to get from turnitin itself one of the standard plagiarism checking tool turnitin Uh, so if you go for any other softwares uh, or the plagiarism checking tool uh, th they may be less or more plagiarism but if you go to the turnitin it is very standard plagiarism checking tool and uh, you uh, from this uh, maximum uh, the plagiarism is going to be identified you from your article here you can see the earlier one already i got the report this is started so let us see how much plagiarism is there in my article so earlier i have checked it is about nearly 42% so right now i am checking i hope for this time it has to be reduced because if you if you want your research article to be accepted from the standard journals like elsewhere springer uh, wille taylor francis then you must meet uh, to the standard level of the journal so you have to reduce the plagiarism they are uh, not going to accept your research article quickly so that's why you have to verify your research article from standard plagiarism checking tools so it is going to generate once uh, it has been generated you should download that and uh, check where the plagiarism is there and how much then edit your research article manually and then you can submit your research article to journal so it may take few minutes okay you can see my plagiarism report has been generated it has reduced to 34% so you can view your report or uh, else you can uh, click on original file or download report uh, the report was generated within 3 minutes you can see so how much uh, uh, minimum within minimum time authentic and standard uh, 
plagiarism result you can get download report click on that so it is very difficult to reduce the plagiarism because some of the words or the standard quotations you can't uh, remove them so that the meaning of the paper should not be changed if you change the words meaning of words also sometime may change but uh, you have to try to reduce still so this with this uh, report where the colors you are going to observe with numbers they are going to show the references uh, or the plagiarism or the similarity uh, of the work between the different papers so 16 or 11 these numbers are nothing but from which paper this similarity has occurred uh, you can verify at the end here so here you can see similarity index internet source publication student paper uh, so including all these uh, you are having the 34 percent similarity so this paper has the maximum similarity index so reduce that uh, plagiarism so 10 percent is from that paper only and this is uh, the paper where the pre percent uh, similarity has happened so these are nothing but where uh, the overlap or the similarity has happened you can uh, check those online sources papers then try to reduce it manually so very helpful i hope uh, this information is useful for you to reduce the plagiarism of your research article and if you take any of the free version you are not going to get the complete report from this research expert you are going to get authentic and one of the standard plagiarism report uh, if you this is what the turnitin report as i said turnitin software uh, so because uh, that is the very standard plagiarism checking tool so the maximum percentage you can get but if you go to the same paper to other softwares uh, there may be uh, still you can reduce it. if it is 34 there you can get around 20 percent 15 percent so for different uh, plagiarism tools the plagiarism is going to vary because of the database uh, how it going to identify but this is very useful and it is also available on the mobile you can download android app and here uh, you can see the dashboard my project whatever the projects i have submitted uh, so you can log in with the help of your mobile and you can submit and generate report download it and edit your research article and then submit to the journals i hope this information is very useful thank you thank you for watching and please do subscribe my channel for like this